Mr. President, actually, this is a question for uh, Mr. Vice President. Do you agree with the President's statement and his understanding of federalism that his power is total right, in the way that he described it? Is there anything you'd like to add or any context you'd like to add to what he, the way he was discussing that? I, I support the President's leadership under the national emergency declaration that he signed. We're standing before you today the first time in American history when all 50 states have issued emergency declarations and the territories. This is an unprecedented time in the life of the nation. And fortunately, as presidents reflected and our health experts will continue to reflect, because the American people have heeded the president's coronavirus guidelines for America, because state governors have taken those and implemented them, even in states where there was not a significant outbreak, and implemented additional measures as we provided them with data about cases and best practices. We're making real progress as a country. It sounds like you but think make his no power is a little bit more it. circumscribed than total. Well, well, make no mistake about it. In the long history of this country, the authority of the President of the United States during national emergencies is unquestionably plenary. And you can look back through times of war and other national emergencies. Uh, and as the President said, we'll happily brief that. But in the days ahead, what the President has charged us to do is to work with our health experts. We're going to bring together an extraordinary group of American business leaders to counsel the President. And then working with the CDC, we're going to produce new guidelines based upon the data for every state and territory in this nation. Uh, we're going to give them guidance. And as, as the President's indicated, we'll, we'll continue to respect uh, the leadership and partnership that we forge with every governor in America. But um, this is an unprecedented time. But I, I, I have to tell you, um, when you look at the fact, despite the heartbreaking loss of more than 22,000 Americans, when you look at the fact of what, what the health experts told us this could be, I think I only can feel a sense of gratitude to the American people. Gratitude to the extraordinary team that has counseled this president, the steps that President Trump has taken, the, the, the policies that governors have implemented all across America. I mean, we were discussing today at the task force that when you look at the European Union as a whole, they have nearly three times the mortality rate that the United States of America has today. And that is a tribute to our extraordinary healthcare workers their dedication, their tireless work. But it's also a tribute to the fact that the American people put into practice the mitigation efforts that the President counseled the nation to do on the advice of our best scientists now more than a month ago. And our hospitals were not overwhelmed and are not overwhelmed at this hour. And, and I, I have to tell you, standing here today, I, I, I couldn't be more proud uh, to stand alongside this President and to be a part of this team that has served the American people during this challenging hour. And I, I just say to you, to every American looking on, as we see the numbers leveling and maybe even beginning to go down, I just encourage you to keep doing what you're doing because of the sacrifices that Americans and American families have made through these mitigation efforts. You're saving lives and you're seeing our nation through this go time. Ahead,